Good afternoon, everyone. This is part two of yesterday's salt dough creation. Uh, so, yesterday we made uh, salt dough and uh, mixed it, and then you needed to bake it in the oven uh, at 200 degrees for uh, three hours, and then I let it set overnight, and uh, my snake is done, but now I'm ready to paint it. So I thought it would be fun to paint with you guys. So what I did, you can see, is I have some snake books. I have some snake books um, here, and um, I'm going to paint a garter snake, and I'm gonna use the books and the pictures in the book to um, help me paint. So I am using just simple uh, acrylic paint, and I am going to paint, I have um, water and I have um, some grayish. I'm gonna start with the base, which is really gonna be uh, the, um, I'm gonna shake it up, is really gonna be uh, the light kind of yellowy, creamy color of, um, of a garter snake. So I'm going to start with that. And I'm going to do that. I'm gonna paint it. I'm gonna paint the whole thing. So a snake, the bottom. I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do the bottom first because the bottom is all this color, and then I will put the scales. And I think that I might use a Sharpie marker to do my scales on the back. I think a Sharpie marker might be really good to do the details. So I'm getting this done and then I will add the grays and the black stripes onto this. And this will also help seal it and I will probably put a um, and some kind of acrylic coat on it, but maybe not. I may just paint it with this flat paint. So it's painting really well. You know, it's funny because this is something that I never did with my boys. I never made salt dough. They made salt dough at school and preschool and stuff, but it's not anything that I've ever done. I did all kinds of other things. We made Play-Doh and all sorts of stuff, but I have not ever made my own salt dough. And it comes out pretty good. I am surprised. I'm gonna keep painting. Won't take long. It's not a very big snake. I'm trying to fill all the holes in here so that I can go back and do details. There's a few spots where the salt dough cracked or spread. So I'm just going to try and fill in a little bit more with the paint in those spots to fill all the holes. You can get as creative as you want. It does not have to be realistic. You can make a really fancy, fun snake that has all kinds of colors. You can pick your favorite colors. You can make it a rainbow snake, whatever you like. This is your creation. And if you are just joining me, check out yesterday's steam video, which has the recipe and shows how we made our salt dough. Plus, you can see it was a little tricky. Um, 
It helps to have the right measurements and um, to be patient, which was good. All right, so I'm almost done with this side. Then I'm gonna flip it over because I can do that. I'm almost done, a little bit more. Fill in some of these holes. I don't wanna get too much paint because I want the paint to have time to dry. All right, there we go. So, and this acrylic paint works really well. Okay. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to flip it over and I'm going to do it on here so that I don't get paint on the table. Good idea. All right. All right. I'm going to put a little bit more on here and then I'm excited to do some detailed striping for my garter snake who probably has a much bigger head than he should but that's okay it doesn't matter and I want to get all of this right there all right I'm sure you guys are doing a great job too I look forward to seeing some of your creations. You can post them on the Camden Public Library website and share them on the library Facebook page if you want, and I will and I will see them. That would be awesome. Or you can go almost almost done just trying to fill in these little cracks and crevices trying not to touch it because every time I catch it I get more on my fingers because it's coming off all right definitely want it to dry okay little bit more here we go last little bit on here and then we'll start with some details okay oops got that already now hold on there go to the end right there Hold right here, get that right there, and we're doing okay. All right, now, now what I should do is let this dry a little bit. All right, that is looking fantastic. Oops, every time I touch it, I peel a little bit up, so I don't want to do that. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is rinse this out like that, okay, just with some water. I'm going to take a little bit of the gray and I am going to do right at the top like that. Just a little bit right there is grayish, and then he's got a nice stripe all the way down the back, like that. And I'm gonna do that nice stripe all the way down his back, like that. 
just like that. Thick stripe, perfect. And then we'll be able to do details with a Sharpie marker, I think, or a pen, or even the paint on there. All right, so. Coming along great. I'm going to add some stripes to the side. He's coming along really cool to be a garter snake. And I am going to leave you guys to it. Keep going. Enjoy your experiment and have fun painting your salt dough. I'm excited to see what it looks like. Hugs to you all. And there's what I have so far. All right, let's see. I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna go here along the side. Just like that, so you can see. This is really cool.